Right, hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9. As anyone who knows what I do now, you know I love huskies. I picked up this one, dead on eBay, with the hope of fixing the other one with it. Well, it turns out, after a lot of poking around inside and cleaning shit, we have it working! And it has the same problems as my original Husky Hunter 2 that I got. So, when turning it on, press the power button and hold something like shift to stop it powering itself off. Then of course press the any key to get the main desktop up. Now we want to set the clock which will be control FN and you see where it says CLCK that's clock 5. Time setting mode and it doesn't say anything else so you will find that is a bit of a problem. Now, I'm going to try and move the camera into it. We've got manual focus on, which is, look, you can see my, the camera in my part of my chin. Right, we're going to try that again. So, enter uh, five for clock. There we go. So, it is, what the computer say it is? It is the 13th. So one three. No, that's how you do it. Thirteenth. No, no, you don't. January, uh, February. Then we go because this doesn't have have um, the two thousand support. We'll just say nineteen oh three. Then the time is 1900 for the time. You see things like the 24 hour clock. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the whole 24 hour clock thing. That'll do. And enter. Press enter to synchronize. Yes. And voila, it doesn't switch itself off on its own. So the first thing you do when you get one of these husky hunters is you switch, you set the clock, hold the control FN just to stop it switching itself off. I don't know why they do this, they just do. The next command you'll want, because if we DIR, thank you gravity, that was very handy of you there just to knock the camera over on the floor and misalign it, there we go next thing is, if we DIR it it will eventually crash, so we just stop it and it's frozen and it will not respond to anything so bear with me why I just unscrew the things and there's a cotton wipe yeah I've been cleaning out the contacts because the thing didn't switch on when I got it and I've also nicked the other battery contact off the dead husky. I love these husky computers, there's something about them that grabs me. So husky hunter, press any key, affirmative. So this is where we fix this problem because it's been you unused for how god knows how long for matt go are you sure thank you camera for falling on the husky now we'll put the camera back and on you are you sure we will press yes and it is 414 kilobytes available. Now, when we go DIR, it doesn't crash! And that is the first few two things you should do when you get yourself a husky. And one of these will be the backlight. I'll have to do some research on which one enables the backlight. Uh, I swear it's... Yeah, it is, because this is one that has actually got a backlight in it. 
So then they do change it from machine to machine. Eight keys, okay. So that's how you do it. So that is how you get one of these which doesn't work, which does all that crashing malarkey back working. They're pretty robust machines and generally they always seem to be in a fixable state. So it can take a bit of dismantling, cleaning some contacts to get them working. This was the exact problem with this unit. It just needed the contacts which were connecting with the motherboard to be cleaned. And that I did. Preferably on the serial port, that seems to be how it gets to the negative and I gave it a wipe with the cotton swab, picked off some corrosion on one of the pins and it works. So that is how to get your Husky working. I think this one can go in the restoration section. Oh fantastic, can't reuse that now. But from me, for now, thanks for watching. And look, your bun too. <laughs>